everyone, I hope you're having a great day or night depending on when you're watching this. Today I filmed my current everyday makeup routine for fall and this is using products that I've been loving and some of my favorites from this month. I think I'm going to upload this after my what I've been loving video so if you haven't watched that check it out. My look is pretty much the same, I just like to kind of change it a little bit for the uh, different seasons but I used a ton of new different products in this video so I hope you enjoyed. As always, links to everything and my shades will be linked in the down bar down below. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave me a question or comment down below. I always love to hear from you guys. And without further ado, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Bye. So before I start any of my makeup, I like to use the Scandinavia Makeup Primer Spray. Where did I even get this? Oh, I got it from um, Grapevine. They sent this to me. And basically, it's just a mist that's like a primer. And it's what I've been really liking lately. And I know it's kind of like that whole primer water hype, but I don't know. It's just a makeup. I really notice a difference in my face when I use it. So I just get an even spray on my face. Speaking of primers, I take my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. That is the eye primer that I've been using lately. I really like it. I like the bottle. I don't know. I'm just not the hugest fan of Urban Decay. For eyes, I pretty much do the same thing. I've been doing the same thing forever. And that's just to start off with Urban Decay Chase. I actually just hit pan on it, which is really exciting for me because... When I was younger, I had so much makeup that I never hit pan on anything. I just put that all over my lid, and in the fall, I do like to go a little darker with my makeup, as you'll see. I'm not too dramatic, like I don't like to line my eyes or my waterline. I just don't like that look on me. I see it on other people where they put shadow underneath their eyes, and I think it looks so nice. But on me, I just find it makes my eyes look smaller. And sometimes I'll try it, and I just feel like I look like wrong. Like it just doesn't look good. Really, what I've been liking to do is go in with the gonna kill me. Um, the Naked Smoky palette. Tony got this for her birthday from a friend. It's not something that I necessarily would have thought to buy. Just take the color Dirty Sweet. It's just like a lighter bronze and I just put that in the corners of my eyes. It's not too much lighter than Chase. It's very similar to Half Baked but it just kind of brightens up the inner corner and then I take the color Radar and I put that on the outer a little bit. And then taking my two, my it actually broke, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I like to take, I don't even know the name of this, this color right next to Creme Brulee and a little bit of the matte brown and I just kind of go over. And then I'm gonna take my 217 and using the Smoky Palette, use the color Whiskey. It's just like a very dark matte brown. It's very, very nice. I already have my primer on, so I'm going to go in with my Makeup Forever Full Cover Extreme Camouflage Cream in number 7. I am back to being number 7. During the summer, I'm number 10, and now number 10 is way too dark for me, but number 7 is perfect for the fall and winter time. So I just go in with my fingers and just start doing it underneath my eyes. Okay, and then apply it to any blemishes you might have. I have this nice pimple that doesn't want to leave because of my makeup forever thing, I can just, you know, put on some concealer and then it all it all leaves. So lately what I've been using as my foundation is either the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Cream in Medium or the Too Faced Born This Way Absolute Perfection Foundation in the color Sand. I think I'm gonna go with Too Faced today just because I've never used it in a video. So I just take about a pump and a half on my hand and then you guys know how I like to do it. I like to just dot it everywhere. Then I'm just going to take the Sigma F86 and just blend it in. So now my foundation is on and I love the way this looks but I also love the way that it feels. And since um, my face is always a little bit paler than my body because I exfoliate my face a lot more than I exfoliate my body, I just like to always bring the foundation down my neck to avoid any foundation lines. When Born This Way Foundation came out, I really had zero interest in it because I just thought it was like another YouTube hype product that Too Faced like paid a lot of a lot of YouTubers to promote, to like bring attention to it. But then my sister got it and there's nothing wrong with it. I know YouTube promotion is like really great, but like I just, when I, you think of Too Faced, like you don't think of foundation, at least I don't. So I was just like, meh, whatever. But then my sister got it and I tried it one day because I was like, Tony, I need to try it. And I just loved it. I loved the way it looked. I loved the way it felt. Um, it has coconut water in it, so it's very, very lightweight. And then I ended up going to buy it. Then I'm taking my CC Plus 
powder by um, It Cosmetics, and I like to use the color light, and I just put that underneath my eyes um, to set everything under my eyes, and if you watched me for a while, I used to use the Stila Illuminating Powder, and this is pretty much like the same thing, so if you're in Canada and you can't um, get it like super readily, the CC Plus, uh, the, the Stila Illuminating Powder is very, very similar. So once I get all that set and everything, I go back to my eyes and I start working on them. Tweezerman Eyelash Curler, aka the best eyelash curler there is. It makes such, the di such a difference you're going to see in my eyes right now. I think it's a little bit more expensive than other eyelash curlers, but it's so worth it and they last forever. Can you tell the difference? It's amazing. Okay, then Maybelline Line Stiletto Liquid Eyeliner. Then I take Maybelline Colossal Mascara. I just tried this. Maybelline sent it to me, but my sister took it. So I didn't get to try it for the longest time, and then I tried it yesterday, and it makes your eyelashes look so fake looking and like wispy. Um, so I really like to layer it with different mascaras. Look, I find that my eyelashes literally <laughs> look fake right now. And then I love to layer it with the L'Oreal Volume Excess mascara i find this one just like kind of seals them all in and makes them like even fuller like can you see that if i look down now the other eye okay. then it's time for eyebrows i have a full eyebrow tutorial so i'm not going to show you how i do them because i literally do them the exact same way so i will link that eyebrow tutorial down below what i've been doing lately is just taking um this IT Cosmetics Luxe High Performance Hydrating Eyeshadow Trio in Naturally Pretty. And I take the dark color and I just kind of put it throughout the brow. The eyebrow will look really, really harsh at the beginning, like you look like a chola. I find like once you blend it out, like it looks really, really nice. And once your eyebrows are done, I'm kind of... Oh, what happened? What's happening here? What... I go in and I start contouring. And I like to contour with the... Am I hitting pan on this too? Probably. I either use the Anastasia Contour Kit, which I've used a lot of, or the bronzer. Today I'm going to use the Anastasia Contour Kit. I really like the middle color. And then I'm just going to go in with this one and go around my head here. Go down the bridge of my nose and it will look a little frightening. And then I just take a little bit of bronzer. And my favorite part of doing my makeup is highlighting. And this is Champagne Pop by Becca. Um, and when I do, oh, it's so beautiful. Um, I use a fan brush by Sedona Lace. I just tap it in. And I just go in. Because I find this can look a little shimmery sometimes. So I just like to blend in using the the um the brush I blended the contour in. But taking my favorite Bobbi Brown nude lip liner, then I'm gonna take a color that I just got from Mac. I just feel like it's more it's like very fall for me. And then the last final touch that I've been doing lately is taking a white eyeliner. This is just by Maybelline. It's the Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil. And I just like to apply that to my inner waterline. And I think we are pretty much done. So this is pretty much my everyday go-to fall makeup. It's pretty much my everyday makeup, um, but with, you know, bronzy eyes and a little bit of a darker overlined lip. And this is just pretty much what I always wear on an everyday basis. I get so many requests through these videos and show what I've been using. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, links to everything I use and my specific shades of products will be linked in the down bar down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Because I know you guys know of my distaste of like alcohol and beer especially.